Good evening. This is Chaplain Ian Perry from the Missions of Love. We are starting a school of aquaponics. This part that we're showing today is how to make a biofilter. A biofilter is very important in an aquaponics system if you're going to have a lot of fish in your system. Normally on a continuous flow you would not need a biofilter because you have a set amount of fish and the system cleans itself. But if you're going to have a large amount of fish versus a large amount of plants, it's good to have a biofilter to get some of the concentrated uh, stuff that's in the water out. But it can be very expensive if you buy one. And we're going to show you how to make one inexpensively. Typically, a biofilter can cost upwards of several hundred dollars or even more. We're going to show you how to make it for only eight dollars. And that's here in St. Cloud, Florida. The crisis will be dependent upon where you're from. But let me show you what you're going to need. First thing you're going to need is media material. We're using screen material like you would find in your windows of your house. You can use plastic. You could buy a whole bunch of plastics and use it, sponges or anything. But for today, for simplicity and cost purposes, we're only going to use some screen material. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a kitchen faucet sprayer holder. This is what you would find in the sink. You would have your sprayer would be in there, you would spray your dishes and put it in here. It's very inexpensive. You only need two of them. So we got two. You need a screwdriver, eight, excuse me, ten sheet metal screws. Any size will do. Just don't get the smallest. You don't need the largest. I recommend getting galvanized because you don't want them to rust. Also, you're going to need an air pump. You can get an air pump in any uh, plant store, pet food store, Walmart. Find a used one, you can probably find one in Craigslist or somewhere. Of course, what comes with the, the, the thing is the air stone, and I'll explain why you need that. And then you have here a just a typical tub. This is an 18 gallon tub. They do sell them at 10 gallons. Uh, they cost about the same, which is about five to six dollars for this tub. This is the actual filter. Last two things you're gonna need is, uh, got this, this holds two liter bottles, got this free, uh, get it from your public, just get a, ask them for a holder or go near a trash room if they're throwing one away, you get that. This here is a filter for an air conditioner. We're just going to put a second filter in there for the media. You don't really need it, but we're just going to do that. And this is very inexpensive. Water flows through it. If you do use anything, make sure it's free of chemicals. It's imperative because you will kill the fish. This is all you need to have a, a biofilter. Now I'm going to go here and explain how to make it. From step by step, and I'm going to make it in front of you. I'm just not going to show you one, and it's running, and then you're going to have to decide yourself how to make it. The first thing we do here is we know that we're going to have to screw down the top, so I'm going to put that aside for later. First thing I'm going to do is if you look here, I've got two holes that I already pre drilled. Um, when you find the device, whatever, whatever you use to go through the holes, it should look like this. So you have to take it through here. It has a clamp on the other side. As you can see here, it gets closer and the, the plastic is between and it closes it. It clamps it here so no water will get through. If you want to put a little bit extra sealant, you can put some silicone in there, but it's not really necessary. When I was in Haiti, they didn't use, sometimes use things like this. So you're going to have to improvise to do it the cheapest way you can. Now what I did here is I drilled two holes. I placed that in. What's going to happen is, actually I'm going to do it this way. As you notice, I put this here. I put it here. What I'm going to have here is from the aqua system, the water is going to go in here on the bottom. I want it to go to the bottom. And as it goes, it's going to, the water is going to be forced through the media material to filter it, and it's going to come out here, and I'll put this one in. And as you can see, it doesn't take very long to build this whole device. In fact, when I use it, the very first time I use it, I'm going to try not to use any silicone or anything of any kind, because we're trying to show you how to use it quickly and easily. Now, next step, very important. We're going to take the air filter that we need. You get a, what I did here is I just pre-punched a hole here. If you can see, there's a little hole, just big enough for the hose to go through. But it's above the water line here. I don't want it below. I want it above. It's because I don't want any water to drip out for any going out of there. 
So it, there, I got it in. Now what I'm going to do here, it's very important, I put the stone in there, very technical here as you can see. I place it in the bottom just like that. Now, I have it just laying there on the bottom. This is where this comes into place. Uh, this is, I put it upside down and see if the air hose is going to be underneath it. If I put the air hose here and the media sits on top of it, it's not going to let it work right. The bacteria needs to grow and it needs oxygen. That's the reason you're using the air hose. Now you can get a cheaper, inexpensive air hose. As you notice I just, I just placed it at the very bottom. That's what it looks like. This is almost completely done. The air hose gives oxygen to the system so the bacteria will grow and everything and so the biofilter works as a biofilter should. Now, as the water comes in the bottom, I'm going to show you how I made this. I took some screen and I cut it like this. There's no set length, it's how much you want it. And I'm going to make it into a knot. Just a little knot like this. You don't want it drum tight like that because you want all the surface area you have to be visible. So let's undo this one. I made it a little too tight to show you. When you do it, just do it nice and loose. And then you fill it in. And you fill it to pretty close to the top. I pre-made these so we don't have to sit here and do that. Let me show you. As I fill it in, this is so simple. You just put it in here. You can push it down a little bit. There we are. And I will show you what it looks like when it's full. As you notice, this is what it looks like. Very simple. Now, if you want to use the green scrubby pad that I showed you, um, I would put this like this. Okay, water can still flow through it. As you notice, make sure this is not occluded or closed like that. You want it underneath it. So what I did here, to make it simple, it breathes so it's like a two-stage filter. Notice it's like that. No chemicals. Water is going to be forced through it. Come to the top. Now, notice this hose here hooks to the um, water pump. Now, I do recommend this. When you do make this, make this in such a way that you can doesn't use a lot of power. And the thing that I do recommend is solar energy. You can this whole system here uses very few watts. You can use a solar cell, so you're not using any electricity wherever in the world you may be. Next, the top. I put the top on. But as you notice, the water is going to go in here and come out here. And if I don't secure the top, what's the first thing that's going to happen when I fill it with water? It's going to pop up. Water is going to be everywhere. So what we did, we took the screws like this. We have a hex screwdriver. You can use a regular screwdriver, you know, whatever size screw. I do recommend a screw about this size here. Um, the package says this was a... Uh, a number 10 5 by 8 screw just you don't have to stick to a, a certain number of screw I do recommend putting as you see right here I'm just going to do this you just put in a hole if you look closely we put a screw here beside the uh, handles right here and I give these other two here now, if for some reason the hole will get messed up because it is a sheet screw, you can definitely put it in front of you when you do it. Um, you can make the holes in a different spot if you need to, so you don't have to go buy another container and start all over. There we are. Then, put this screw in here. Now you don't need a drill. The reason we're doing it like this, simplicity is critically important. If you were to be in a place such as where there's a tornado, a disaster happened, you can't afford to buy a lot of things. Or you're in an area you just don't have the money. 
So I recommend <coughs> using this. Now, what's the great thing about this? You can clean it easily by taking the screws out. And of course, you would use the water on any plants that you have to fertilize them in the house, flowers, or whatever. It's good. It's not like a hydroponic system where the water you're getting rid of it is now what they call a... Um, how would you say it's not a, oh, oh, it's not a, it's thing EPA needs to check it because it's bad for the ground because it's got a lot of chemicals and stuff in it. This is purely natural because we're using an aquaponic system. And you will be seeing that we're going to be teaching you a two-step system that you can use this. Simplicity, again, <clears throat> we're showing you because we want you to know that it's a free thing that we're showing you to do, step by step. You can modify this, make it better, worse. This is just simple. Um, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money because if you don't have it, you can't. And this is how it works. This is a complete system. This is all it is for a biofitter. $8 and you have it. Now I look forward to seeing you. If you have any other questions, feel free to call or uh, write me at ki4ngc yahoo.com. You can look at our, uh, our, our YouTube site. We have a lot of pictures and questions, feel free to email me or leave a comment and we'll help you in any way we can. This is uh, Missions of Love School of Aquaponics and